Where do you plug that? Help. Help. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install an operating system, find your Raspberry Pi IP address, install an SSH client on your iPad, and install an app to remote access your Raspberry Pi. The first thing is to install an operating system. I have two videos on the topic, one with a computer and the other with a smartphone. Uh, watch them if you need help about this. But the important step here is to enable SSH automatically. Uh, by default, it is not the case on uh, Raspberry Pi OS. To do this, you need to create a new empty file on your SD card named uh, SSH. And uh, make sure uh, your computer doesn't add an extension to uh, this file. That's it for the Raspberry Pi installation. For the next steps, we will try to use only the iPad. Start by booting your Raspberry Pi. Once done, we need to find the IP address on the network. Obviously, your iPad needs to be uh, on the same network as the Raspberry Pi. A good app I have found to do this is uh, iNet Network Scanner. You can find it on the App Store. On the first start, you will get a list of all your devices find the Raspberry Pi in it and uh, not the IP address. I have several uh, Raspberry Pi on my network, but I know this is this one. The next step is to find an SSH client. Uh, for this, I took uh, PHelper that is uh, dedicated to the Raspberry Pi, so it's cool. It uh, includes uh, an SSH client, but uh, also an SFTP uh, client, and um, graphics about the resource usage, and uh, GPIO uh, controls. Start the app. Add a new connection to your Raspberry Pi. Enter your IP address we found just before. Uh, you can test the connection and save it. Once connected, you can see uh, the graphs and click on the Term button to access the terminal. The last step is to install a No Machine on the Raspberry Pi and on the iPad. No Machine is the only tool I have found uh, that works well with the iPad. The other popular ones were horrible. For example, the mouse is not in real time with uh, VNC. You move the cursor with your finger, it doesn't click where you want directly, so it's not uh, usable. Use the uh, SSH terminal and copy and paste uh, the commands uh, in the description. I didn't find a way to copy the link from the No Machine website, so it's the best way if you don't have a computer to do this. Download the package and install it uh, manually.
the debug log doesn't show it's completed, but it is. Now you can uh, look for the No Machine app in the App Store and um, install it. Open the app, it will uh, look for your Raspberry Pi automatically. Connect to it. Enter your login and password. So it should be uh, P and uh, Raspberry. And uh, that's it, you can now control your uh, Raspberry Pi from the iPad. If you are just getting started on Raspberry Pi and want uh, more tutorial like this to help you along the way, Feel free to check uh, this link for more details about my course.